And this isn't even my favorite character. Okay, I just realized that he came with the porn books. He comes with the porn books because it's Kakashi, everybody. Hello, everyone. It's Sonia and Megan from Millennium Cosplay. You may not recognize us because we got some. We got some nifty <laughs> our hair done. Um, and we have exciting news. We just went to Comic Con. I'm not sure if we're going to attach this to the vlog or it'll be a separate video, but Comic Con. Uh, New York Comic Con. We didn't specify. Obviously, San Diego happened months ago. NYCC. Yes, NYCC. Um, so we're very excited to have been there. We only went one day because neither of us have ever been to a Comic Con and we weren't sure um, what the dynamics would be like and whether it would be better for us or even to an anime convention. So we just went for Friday, um, mostly because that's <laughs> Friday and Thursday were the only days that were available by the time we were looking into going. So we went Friday, which was yesterday, and it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. So first things first, um, we got our badges in the mail. And like I said, we only got, um, we only went Friday. And for some reason, New York, New York Comic Con issues like daily badges only, so. We're not clear on why. Yeah, it makes so no sense to if us. you went all four days, you had four badges, which seems excessive to me. And also, like the fear of like losing one and like not being able to get in seems kind of ridiculous. Especially since they're tied to your name. Like I don't know why you couldn't just have. Yeah, I don't know. That seems flawed. So that was the first flaw of <laughs> New York Comic Con. Not this isn't going to be like a rant on how terrible New York Comic Con was or anything, but it had some issues. Um, but anyway, so we got that, and then as soon as you walk in. They mail these to you with no lanyard, which again was weird. And but as soon as you walk in, they do. They did have these nice free lanyards, marketing webtoons, whatever that is. I have no idea what that is, but it's cute and it's neon. And I mean, I'll hang it up in my room with the free lanyard. I have mine on a haiku lanyard. She has hers on a haiku. I just brought my work lanyard, which I had is to really show that boring. I have to weave though, so that's true. We weren't as Remind. accurately <laughs> represented at New York Comic Con, so. The first thing we did, if you watch the vlog, obviously, is we went express to the Konami booth like the nerds that we are. We needed our EV. Yeah, because my friends had actually gone to San Diego Comic Con and I knew that they, if you play Duel Links, they, they're giving away little, um, well, we'll show you because we got them. So if you played Duel Links at the um, Konami booth, they had them on like some pretty big TV screens. It was really neat. Um, and you play against someone else who was waiting in line. So we were the next, we were the couple in line, so we actually dueled. Thankfully, we got to duel each other. We, we so. dueled each other, um, and it didn't yeah, matter whether you won or lose; you still got the yeah. pin. It's but a preloaded deck, and you yeah, just so you had. Go. There were five characters from Duel Monsters to choose from, and there were five characters from GX to choose from since GX was just launched. Um, so I dueled as Kaiba, and Megan dueled as Yami, and Kaiba actually won a duel for once in his life. Because Yami's first hand is always Dark Magician and Dark Magician. Cards, I mean... Which we learned from the person <laughs> in front of us, too, but... Yeah, apparently... I didn't want to duel as Joey, so the only other that's good matchup... You could have dueled as Jaden, but it wouldn't have made sense. It wouldn't sense, have made sense. But that's fine. Anyway, so that's what happened. I wrecked Megan with enemy controller and then blasted her with blue eyes. So... But the point is that we got these really nice um, dual links pins. Want to focus camera, maybe? No? Okay. Well, it's it's cute, and it's got Yami. Um, it says dual links, and then they came in different colors, so I got issued the red one, and Megan got the blue one, which I like better, actually, because it looks like the gate in the game, but that's fine. So that was actually the second thing we did at the Konami booth. I went out of order because I got very excited about the pins. The actual first thing we did, um, which was exciting, but I was more excited about the Yami pin. Um, but anyway, the first thing that we did was we got in line and you could have, um, they have like, they had a green screen and backdrops of um, like backs for Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So you can make your own token. They'll take your picture and then they'll put it on a Yu-Gi-Oh card and you can use it as a token if you play the game, which we don't, but it's still a really cute. Um, souvenir. So there, there was an option just to have like a no, normal you, generic you background. It says it cannot be used. Well, it. okay. Well, you can duel against your friends with it, but you can't use it in official duels. So. At Kelvin, get ready. <laughs> Kelvin, we're gonna wreck you with our tokens. 
Um, anyway, so there was one generic, um, sorry, my hair was tilted. There was a generic which token, is, you'll see. which we got one of, and then there were five other options. Um, each one had one of the main Yu-Gi-Oh protagonists, and then you could stand next to them. So, spoiler, you'll never guess who Megan chose. Megan, whose favorite Yu-Gi-Oh is 5Ds, and whose favorite protagonist is Yusei. You will never guess who she chose. She squealed a little bit at the prospect. <laughs> Obviously, I chose. Who made no sense. I chose sense. to take a picture with Yusei. Even though she was just as, as Merrick. Merrick. Which <laughs> made no sense. And the, the Konami guys didn't You want to hold this up? No, not really. You can see it. It's not a great <laughs> Fine, picture Fine, I'll me, hold so. the better one up. Well, it's not necessarily better. It makes more sense. So I went, um, you can only take one. Um, so I just both. took one of both of us. I'll cover myself <laughs> Just up. you say. I mean, that's, She's what, on it, the other side, that's what it looks but. like to do one with the character. You get to be right next to right. them. Right. So there was also Yami, and then there was um, Yuma, Jaden, and Yuya. So you the could choose from any of them. up until... Up until Arc B. Right. So, anyway, so I went with the generic one of the two of us. Uh, and it's really cute. I, I really like this one. And I like that it says, it says New York Comic Con on the side. And if you have this issued at San Diego Comic Con, it'll say San Diego Comic Con. I, I just think it's a really cute little thing that I will put in my photo album and Megan will probably put in her scrapbook. The Konami booth was very That was exciting. the highlight probably Do of my... Do you want to show what else you got from the Konami booth or... Um, should we save that for later? Since it's one of my... Or whatever, we'll just go for it. We can just go by booth. I mean, I saw this like immediately upon arrival at the Konami booth, but I sat on it like a moron. Like, every time I go to a con, I'm like, I want that. And then I just walk around the con for like yeah, another good thing you wanted four hours, yeah. like not purchasing it. And then at the end, I'm like, I still want that. So, so Konami at each con they go to, they make specific exclusive dual mats for that convention and that year specifically. So each New York Comic Con since whenever Konami has been has had a different, um, game mat and spoiler I don't even duel so I don't know what I'm going to do with it but it was big and it was beautiful and it has my second favorite boy um he is my second favorite boy I'm sorry you're not Bakura Kaiba but you are still excellent anyway um I don't know if you recognize this art but this art is this is the same art of Kaiba that is on the collector's tins that were just launched like a month ago maybe. And I've been thinking about getting those too, but again I don't duel so I don't know what to do with them. Um, so I haven't bought one, but this is so large and he was so pretty and it says New York Comic Con on it so I'll always know like where it was from. And I figured I could put it, uh, like upon receiving it I realized it may be too big, but I thought initially that I could put it on my bookshelf and I could put the the two Yu-Gi-Oh figures I have on either side of him. So that was the plan, and I don't regret this part. Yeah. <laughs> Not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, but no regrets. I mean, it was a good thing that she wanted this art because the other two options sold out by the time we got back to the booth. I mean, so. the other two options were half the price of this option. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't really blame anyone, but this was the prettiest Kaiba. And it was the exclusive. And also this was like the giant Kaiba that you probably saw in our vlog that was like on the wall. Yep. If I can't have a giant kaiba, I'll have to settle for a medium Puma kaiba. So that was Konami. That was Konami. Most of our day. Most of our day. The better part of our day. So after we did that, we actually went to the Funimation booth, which we wanted the lanyard that they were giving out, but alas, they were out by the time we got there. So we waited in line and we got some free posters. So the My Hero Academia one, which has Hero Killer State on it. Oh, that's is that one different from the one we got at Oda? Yes. Oh. Significantly. Oh well. This is the part of the new season that just that makes more finished. sense. So this is uh, if anybody's not up to date on My Hero Academia, this is actually supposed to be from when it's uh, the three boys versus Hero Killer Stain, and it's pretty epic. Todoroki art, which Looking obviously you know fine as usual. Obviously, I am in love with Todoroki, so that's happened there. So there's that, and it actually matches the pin that we actually got this time, which has Hero Killer Stain on it for New York Comic Con as the exclusive one. All the hero, of all the characters from My Hero Academia. Yeah, it's not actually body. a hero. 
And then we also received a black po a black clover poster, which just aired this past week, the first episode. So, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. It seems like it's gonna be really cool. The first episode was good. Ended on a little bit of a cliffhanger, but I mean, they gotta make money, right? So gotta make money. Uh, reel us in. And then they also gave away some and they took a plastic things. folder. Yeah, to put your know. papers in. It's got Aaron and the Colossal Titan and Mikasa, and there's some more. The scouts up here at the top. It's pretty neat, and it was free. Like, neither of us dislike Attack on Titan, but it's also not our favorite thing. But, I mean, free, free is free, so. Yeah, that's true. So, that was the Funimation, Funimation booth. And then, I guess, moving on to Viz Media, because that was the other, only other place I really got a bunch of stuff from. Um, there just got a new series of Tokyo Ghoul that just got released, so they were giving away some pretty cool Tokyo Ghoul stuff. And we got the free poster for RE. And it's got some stuff on the back to That's celebrate. It's a nice poster. Isn't it? It's actually, it's really yeah. pretty. I always love the art for Tokyo Ghoul. And then you also got a free pin. They were giving out different ones at different times, but, but the one we got yes. was We both got this, this. one. I don't even, is this like an eagle or something? Yeah, I'm I sure she knows what it is. Some, I haven't seen yeah. Tokyo Ghoul slash red Tokyo Ghoul. But that was cool. And then they also were giving away free samples of the Zelda manga for Twilight Princess. And I just actually finished reading volume one of it this week. And I think it's really great. It looks really great. Yeah. Mm. I got from, so the live action Tokyo Ghoul movie just came out recently. Yeah, they actually, this was like a separate booth from the uh, yeah. from Funimation. I mean, it was still. If you see the footage Funimation. in the vlog with of Megan as Merrick with the, are they tentacles that are like coming out of you? The Tokyo they're, Ghoul Yeah, they're, they're the like, I don't know what they are. Mouthpiece. I'm unclear myself and I've watched it, it's, so. They look like tentacles to someone they who's function, never seen They function it. different ways, so I don't really know that there's one function. Anyway, that was at this booth, yeah. the photo opportunity. And if you took a photo with it, you actually got the free, it's a double-sided poster for the live action Tokyo Ghoul. Which, which actually looks really good. I'm actually extremely as excited about. As far as anime movies, it's got, live it's got action really great going. reviews. Rip Jojo. I mean, yeah. And the cast looks really great like they look very similar and then right next to that one well actually if you tweet it or if you like did social media for them they actually gave you like a the, the mask this kind of wears. paper mask. this kind of paper like it's like a what do you mean this is my real hair megan <laughs> well <laughs> this yeah <laughs> and then right next to that one was actually still sentai filmworks right funimation it's still JK. it was still sponsored by funimation they actually gave you it was a your name it's really beautiful. It's yeah. like a holographic mini print and of the two main characters with just some clouds yeah. and it's and just pastel and beautiful. And the booth it, was actually really cool too because it had the pastel had the background and the two stand-up stand of the main characters. And if you haven't seen your name yet, what are you doing with your life? I mean, I haven't, but right. what are you doing with your life? It hasn't come out here yet. Yeah, it did. Not on DVD. Well, not on DVD, but it was released. I have a busy, busy life. <laughs> Megan lives the busy life. One of the last places we got free stuff at for anime stuff was anime related. A that was Bandai. Bandai, like side booth on the floor, outside of the show floor, um, and we got. They were trying to advertise for three games. One of them was a the new Naruto. 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 Storm Boruto, was the last one. Ninja yeah. Voltage, which you could play. It's the new fighting game that's coming out with the Naruto characters. <laughs> um. <laughs> with the Naruto characters and the uh, Boruto characters. characters. And then there was a Sword Art Online game, unfortunately. Which they gave you a memo pad for. So, spoiler, Kevin, we... Kelvin, Kevin. Kelvin. Kelvin, we got you some free shit. It's pretty cool. It's got all the characters on the back. I Megan mean, I likes Kirito, even though she has I think he's pretty. Seen. He fits my, like, stereotypical pretty, like, I always like... It's fine. Um, but they also were giving out, I guess I'll start with, like, little hats and hairs for the characters. Boruto hair. Games. So there's Boruto, and it's, Do he's I got like his little headband and everything. So it kind of looks like Yami has a, uh... <laughs> Yami is obviously a member of the Hidden Leaf Village, didn't but you know? There was also a One Piece game, so... 
That's true. There was a if you remember from another our last game. vlog haul. James, James is a large is a man. Little into a little, yeah. One piece. So we got him one of each of the hats for their straw hats. Yeah, that's the fire guy and the rubber guy and then the Australian looking guy. I don't know any of their names. But all I know about Boruto that is, is the important hats. one, I guess. Yeah, so there's also Boruto. Oh, and then I actually got a free button at Crunchyroll, which we didn't the, really I think get it was any. VRV. Well, it was a Crunchyroll boot. I mean, so. they were the same thing. We didn't get any of the free stuff at Crunchyroll this time because we already had the bags. We Apparently, already had the bags. They ran out of the 2017 bags and started giving away the 2016 bags. And then ran out of those. Included the Naruto Shippuden bag. Which Megan wanted. But, they but by the time we got over there to hit up that bag, because neither of us wanted the Boruto bag, they had run out of that. <laughs> so, I mean, I took that too just because the buttons. Yeah. I mean, for real. So that's the end of our free stuff? No. No, just kidding. Well, from anime side, that's the end of it. Oh, do we have non anime free things? Yes, I do. Oh, right. Megan does. I don't because I don't have a I light read, outside I anime. I read real books, so what was wow. fun for me is that not only, like, there were anime sections of Comic-Con, there were comic book sections, there were Marvel sections, there were Capcom. We don't care about comic book Video stuff. Video games, just, stuff, just in general. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like Square Enix, and we wa wa walked by their booth, and I mean, you could play Final Fantasy, which was cool. And Yeah, and Capcom had some like Marvel, I think it was Marvel Infinite that's coming out. Or and they Marvel had the, the Lego, Lego, Mar uh, Lego Marvel, you could play that game yeah. too. Um, so that's cool. But we didn't really care about that because we don't follow other than like the Marvel movies that everyone follows. We don't yeah. really follow comic books. We're too mainstream. Yeah. Um, but I love books. I like reading. <laughs> I love books, you so, guys. So um, one of the free things that I got on the show floor was that they're turning one of my favorite series um, into a graphic novel, which they turned the prequel series into a graphic novel and now they're doing the main series. Um, and it's actually, it's the Mortal Instruments. If you've ever heard of Shadow Hunters, this is actually the book that's based off of. This is one of the main characters. Uh, it's holographic, it's really pretty. I've been seeing it on Tumblr for the last month, because there's actually also supposed to be an SDCC thing, so. Pretty psyched about that. And then one of the other things we did, the reason we went to Autograph Hall was because one of my favorite authors um, is, since I was in elementary school, was actually at this con signing books. Uh, her name is Tamora Pierce, and she actually signed some of my books. Signed three of them. This poor woman is like 80 years old. Yeah. Signed three of my books because I'm a little crazy. She didn't even just sign them. She was like, Oh no, she wrote different, she was real different nice. messages on every yeah. book. Um, but what was cool about coming? So she signed it for me and dated it and signed it to me. I wrote a little message on each one. They're all different messages. Um, what was cool is that uh, Simon Schuster, I believe, or Random House, they were all coming together, all these authors from different places, and giving away free books. So this is her new book that doesn't come out until February. It just became available to pre-order, and I got a free copy of it. And not just like a sampler of it, like the entire book in paperback, which is nice. So that got signed, and then I also got another free book which I haven't read yet, so I'm excited to- But she got the author to sign it, I, so. Yes, it, I got a signed copy. There's no message in this one, but um, it is written, it is signed she to She used me. a nice copper color, which is cool. Yeah, I guess she knew that the that was black, was black yeah. so she was prepared. Um, but I'm excited to have a new book to read. It sounds like it's gonna be interesting, and it was free, so. Again, mm -hmm. something that isn't so published yet. 1.4 so. Comic-Con free thing. That was cool. But I guess we can move into things we actually bought, because we did actually buy <laughs> things, things. we actually bought. Well, we already did Kaiba. That was the most expensive thing that I purchased. Yeah. Um, we actually didn't buy a lot, which you might find strange if you've seen the Otakon haul, because God forbid. <laughs> we don't buy things. Yeah. Um, James wasn't here, so our... Right, so it's considerably you know, it's shorter. smaller. But do you want to just... Yeah, I only bought one other thing. You'll never guess what fandom it's from. Um, so if you saw the Otakon haul, I bought a little Kaiba um, rubber strap to put on my Eda bag. And he is, in fact, on my Eda bag. I'm not going to grab it because it's over there and I don't want to get up. But the same booth came to NYCC and they had a few of these from whatever this little set is. 
and it's Yugi and he's holding Karibo and it's it's the cutest thing ever. Um, I don't think they had Kaiba from this series because I probably would have forced myself to buy that too if they did, but <laughs> they had Yami, um, but Yugi was significantly cuter holding the Karibo. And I don't think I'm going to put him in my Ida bag. I've actually wanted something to put on my like actual, like I have my Ida bag and I have a purse for work that <laughs> is not really nerdy so I kind of just want to put it on there to like low-key let everyone know that I'm a nerd but not it's not too much it's just a small nerdy statement a small nerdy statement like Yugi he's small and nerdy and his, his hair is a statement all right I'm done okay and then the only thing <laughs> I bought actually is just all of a sudden we're into Naruto I mean if you can't tell I'm a a little bit into Sasuke. So bit. I bought a little Sasuke plushie. I can't drop him. And he's from Boruto. He's not allowed to touch the floor. He's like the American flag. It's true. I mean, <laughs> check out our Instagram. Right? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's, there's that. Um, so he's in his little Boruto outfit. Um, and he's got his little sword. And he's very soft. This is the Boruto um, Sasuke, by the way. I already said that. Oh, JK. Well, neither of us have seen Boruto, so. No, That's but I, I find really funny that Megan bought the Boruto Sasuke. I mean, there really wasn't else much else Sasuke available, so I wanted something Sasuke because I don't have anything other than my T-shirt that I'm wearing right now. And he's him and Shikamaru are my favorite characters from Naruto, so I wanted something solid. And he's really cute. He's grumpy. He's missing an arm. I mean, spoiler. He actually Naruto. has like a little nub. Yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's a spoiler for us, too, but... And then so, we'll just pass that on. And I just like how his hair covers his whole face. But from our travel, after we finished up at uh, Comic-Con, we traveled to the city, the Big, Big Apple. Big Apple. And, oh, there's fellas coming out of his head. <laughs> Literally our only destinations in New York. Well, I guess that's not entirely true. We went... We first went to the World Trade Center, which was interesting, and Megan had never been there, so we spent some time there. I've never done touristy stuff in New York. But, um, <laughs> after that, all our destinations were, uh, nerd-related, so we hit up Nintendo World, and then Kinokuniya, which had a, actually had a booth in, uh, NYCC, but it was so busy that we just didn't go, we just waited for the store. And, last but not least, there's a really cool anime store called Image Anime. Or imagine anime I don't know I'll, I'll link it below or something if I can find it anyway it's something with an eye and then anime um, really neat uh, we actually we didn't wind up buying anything in Nintendo world really cool but everything over there is kind of expensive I mean it has to be expensive but uh, after that we walked through Times Square and then I guess that was a nerdy that was a touristy thing to do too yeah, yeah. and then we went to the anime store well we went to Kino Kunio in between those Um, but we didn't get anything in Kino Kuniya. And we were, as soon as we walked in, we knew we were screwed. Because the oh, anime to store. The, to, the, to the second anime store. The anime store had things that we had seen at. Things that I had Comic wanted. Con. So, Good Smile, which is the maker of Figmas and um, Nendoroids. Is that how you pronounce these? Nendoroids. 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 Is there a D in there? It's the cute little Eddie chibi Nendoroids. ones. You've probably seen them. Or you're about to see them if you haven't. Um, spoiler alert. Um, anyway, they they were at um, they were at NYCC, and if you've seen the vlog, you've seen the footage that I took of some of the Naruto ones and the Uriyanis ones. But Shaoran Lee, who is a character from Cardcaptor Sakura, is getting one, and I don't think he's supposed to come out until later this month or next month or sometime soon. But I was really hoping that Good Smile was going to bring him um, because he. And precious, and he's my favorite character in Card Capture Sakura. And Megan really loves him from Tsubasa, but this is his Card Capture Sakura version. So we walked into the store, and after not seeing him all of yesterday, lo and behold, here he was, my child. Which I saw as soon as we looked at the Nenoroids. Megan shelf, was the him. first to see him, and he's really cute, and he's got. He comes with a little sword, 
Um, comes with a little sword to do his angry pose or his fighting pose. And then my absolute favorite was he comes with a little blushy, blushy face that I did. That's what did it. That's what did me in. It's like his face every time he's embarrassed or doesn't understand something or soccer does something stupid. <laughs> Which is frequently. I mean. But um, anyway, so I had wanted this before we went to Comic-Con and was really pissed off at Good Smile for not bringing it. And, but it all worked out in the end because here he is in my arms. I don't know if I'm gonna put him next to Kira on my shelf because that'll be kind of disturbing. But he should go next to Kaku. <laughs> he's he's gonna they find be, a home they can be sweet somewhere. Boys together. He will find a home somewhere on my shelf. That's not the only thing she bought. Get ready. Believe it or not, <laughs> to follow our me who started purchases. Naruto like unlike everyone else in the world who started Naruto in like middle school. Yeah, as a child. Um, I had never seen Naruto. So I, and I didn't want to because James and our <laughs> Kelvin have been like super into Naruto for like 8 million years and I've been making fun of them for being fans of Naruto for 8 million years. I'm low key. Yeah. I, don't, I don't talk about it. She's become more high key since I got into Naruto and need someone to talk to. Yeah, I'm willing to come out for her. <laughs> I'll shrink back in the closet until then. Anyway, so I um, just started, I finished all of Naruto Naruto earlier this month or last month because it's early October now um, and I haven't seen any of Shippuden yet but but and this isn't even my favorite character Wait, I just realized that he came with the porn books he comes with the porn books because it's Kakashi everybody which we saw like 17 Kakashi cosplayers at NYC oh my god for real usually we I I had we've seen of of um we usually we see Sasuke's, like 8 million Sasuke's. Like at Otakon, we must have seen like 16 Sasuke's, but... We only saw three this time. <laughs> at New York Comic Con, in Comic fact, three. it was switched and there were almost no Sasuke's and a shit ton of Kakashi's, which is not a problem in my book. They were all... Some of them were different too. And there was also a Rock Lee, which is acceptable because he's my favorite. It was actually a Mike guy. We figured it out. Oh, you're right. It was a guy. Anyway, a guy is acceptable too because he's great. Anyway, anyway, so all of the Nendoroids, Nendoroids, whatever, um, uh, of Naruto are very cute, but Kakashi in particular, he comes with a little derp smile and Sharingan eye and a, mil a million different hand poses for all his jutsus or whatever. No, jutsus, so I can't word. Yeah, and he has the little kunai on the back and as Megan literally just pointed out he comes with his pornographic books just realized that so, just, did not realize that when I made the purchase but it, it doesn't change the fact that I made the purchase so last minute too we were about to walk out the store and she grabs it and walks to the counter I didn't even almost didn't see it it's okay <laughs> Sometimes we just have to go for it it was a spontaneous she'd been staring at it the whole time we were in there too. I mean we kept coming back to it Everybody in our group loves Kakashi's plans, so he's like the Kaiba of Naruto. Like everybody loves Kakashi, and then we may have other not favorites. Not personality-wise, but like popularity within our group was. Yeah. So. So Kakashi, everybody. Yeah. Um, and the only thing I bought there was to go with my. Uh, so now I have a plushy sauce. Oh, I totally forgot one thing from the con, but I'll we'll show that later. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then I also have now a rubber strap Sasuke to put in my Ida bag. He's also the Boruto version, but I actually think he looks more attractive in Boruto, so I'm willing to take that. Um, but it's cute because he also has the floppy sleeve in this, and he's got he's his little got knife the floppy sleeve. for his missing arm. <laughs> anyway, so to close out my weekend, I bought yet another Sasuke thing. I, I bought spent nothing more money. Else. I was the James of this weekend. Speaking of James, yes, there's something else we have forgotten. <laughs> we forgot about it because it's not for us and none of us understand it. Yes. So, um, well, I mean, we... so Uniqlo, which is a clothing company, um, was that... <laughs> <laughs> Are they? I'm not sure. It is. <laughs> um, how does Yami wear this hair? It hurts my ear. Anyway, and it like does not work with glasses. If, in case you were wondering why Yami is not Megane, it's because this wouldn't work. Anyway, so Uniqlo, which is a clothing company, question mark, um, had a booth at, <laughs> at 
New York Comic Con, and they they brought a lot of they have a lot of series of like nerdy shirts, like they did a Disney, and they had a Nintendo series, um, and a Star Wars series. And obviously, I'm so boring that Megan had to go back to her phone, but I <laughs> had to update our Instagram about our vlog. So um, so, uh, so like the Nintendo ones and the Star Wars ones, I'm fairly certain you can buy at any Uniqlo location. But they had brought those, and then in addition to that, they had some. Uh, New York Comic Con exclusive shirts and they had posted about these online so actually I had I forwarded to James the thing and I asked him if he wanted any and the answer was yes because there was a one piece shirt with the three hats that we got you paper versions of you assholes so I hope you appreciate us um, so yeah this has the this is a just a cool t-shirt I guess with the three of the well, I don't think the other two are straw hats. I, James will have to let me know later, or not, because I really don't, I'm not that interested. But it's got the main straw hat guy, and then the other straw hat, the other guys who don't wear straw hats. And then it just says one piece, but it's actually pretty stylish, so I'll give James that. And you picked it in the correct color, it looks better in gray than blue. So. Sorry, that was a really funny video. That was one that. Of my, one of my oh, Megan has priorities. Only people I follow posted a really great video from NYCC, so. That's Kaiba as a Power Ranger. Okay, I have to see that later. <laughs> but, uh. Um, so that's it for our con haul. It's pretty, I mean. It's not, short in comparison. Short in comparison. Still not short because we ramble a lot, but I guess James will probably take out <laughs> Please do, rambling. James. You guys like my fake socks? I got those for her. She did. Um, we were we are now on hiatus from con until February. I know we're hoping to maybe go to maybe anime December. USA, but no promises. So. We'll see. Um, <laughs> I don't know how much money I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for sure, our next like group venture with just us, because if we go to that one, it's just gonna be us. But our next, but I mean that's what you're here plus, for, right? Plus, plus James. <laughs> can, and James, can you Photoshop yourself in like right here? <laughs> Either direction. <laughs> Wherever you Comment like can be over there. I'm not sitting next to Photoshop. Comment. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so we're, our next group venture is going to be February at KatsuCon, which we're excited about because we're debuting some new cosplays. Um, check out that for us. We're adding to our villain collection. We really like villains, you guys. Yeah, we're switching over from our pro tags to our villains. No villains and stuff. So I wasn't going to because well, I was going to let it be suspenseful. I'd talk but, um, <laughs> we'll James adding, can bleep me out. <laughs> we'll be adding some new Yu-Gi-Oh! villains to our group. That's and true. And a form of friends in that we do have. Oh, excuse me. Excuse you. One friend and one acquaintance. Um, but, yeah, if you are missing James, or Odeon, in this vlog, then he will be back. Don't worry. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> it has been an exhausting weekend. And we have weekend. to pack all this stuff up for tomorrow, so... And by packing, we mean shoving into a bag and nailing yeah. on with our lives. <laughs> um, well, said, um, this is us. This is us. Thanks for watching. Yeah, see you guys next time. Check out our uh, NYCC vlog if you haven't. James will put it on top of Megan's face. Or not. Right here. Um, check check out, out our vlog. It's significantly <laughs> shorter than our other ones, I guess. But uh, it'll be fun. A lot of show floor. Check it out.